Have you ever noticed that weird thing that happens when you're downloading or uploading a file? Stick with me here. I promise it's about to get interesting. So you click download on a website like Google Drive, for example, and by the time you choose where to save the file and hit confirm, the download is already halfway done or even finished. But it didn't always work like this. Downloads used to wait until after you've picked the name and confirmed the save location before even starting. This performance optimization is called eager loading or speculative downloading and is literally everywhere once you start noticing it. Here's what's happening behind the scenes. The moment you click that download button, your browser says, I know they're going to confirm the download eventually and immediately starts grabbing the file in the background. By the time you've named your file and chosen where to save it, a good chunk of the data has already been downloaded and sitting in a temporary location on your computer. The same thing happens when you upload videos to Instagram or TikTok. Notice how the upload percentage is already way above 0%, sometimes at 40 or 60% right after you click post. That's because the upload started the moment you selected the file, before you even typed a single word of your caption. It's the same optimizations app like Loom use. Your recording is already uploaded and ready to share the second you finish recording. And Riverside FM, the same deal. While you're recording your podcast, the upload is happening the same time in the background while the content is being created. By the time you're done, so is the upload. So why are things done this way? It's simple. Humans don't like waiting. This clever optimization makes everything feel lightning fast by doing the work in the background while you're busy making decisions. But there's a downside to it. If you change your mind and cancel, that's bandwidth and processing power wasted. And your data might start transferring before you fully committed to sharing it, which raises privacy flags. But if implemented correctly, it's a great feature in the reason modern apps feel fast, even when they're moving gigs of data behind the scenes. It's a technique you can explore in your application to make things faster and improve user experience. Follow my codes for more programming videos like this.